Hey gang, does it seem like there just aren't any good deals out there on vintage audio equipment anymore? Well, fear not, because I'm here to tell you and show you that they're still out there, if you know where to look. Want to find out where those places are? Well, let's kick it over to the boys first and play some funky jams or something. We got into vintage audio a year ago, but there's a lot of things he still doesn't know. So he started up a channel on YouTube, and here he is now, the Vintage Newbie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vernon Smith, aka the Vintage Newbie, and I'm here to tell you where there are places where you can still find deals on vintage audio equipment. But first, what about the deal that's going on right now in comic book shops? There's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Halloween special. What's so Halloween special about it? I drew it. Yay. So head on out to your local comic shop or your local eBay website or any other comic shop websites. There's things from another world, Forbidden Planet, and probably some others too. I don't know, just Google it. You're here on the internet already. Just look it up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Halloween Special. Cover C. There's A, B, C, even a D cover. And a retailer incentive cover. Well, I drew cover C. That one. That's me. See, it says Vernon somewhere over there. Anywho. So, yeah. Where can you get these wonderful toys? Um, let's start off at the beginning. And probably the one you really shouldn't use too much because you run the risk of getting stuff damaged and not being able to test it out beforehand. And that one is eBay. You've heard of that one. Sure you have. They've been around for like 25 years or so. And now, granted, I have gotten some stuff off of eBay. Some of it was a bit of a crap toss emphasis on crap because some of it was did not work whenever I got it some of it did I've been lucky in some ways unlucky in others this pioneer receiver I got off of eBay it was in pretty rough shape I had to do some cleaning and working on it uh, and I am not a tech by any means but if you're getting into this stuff, you, you kind of got to up your tech skills unless you know somebody. And I do know somebody, but I also try and do what I can on my own. And this one I did manage to get for about half the price of what it's going for. Mostly because it has never been serviced, anything like that. Um, but yeah, you're going to pay a lot of money in shipping. This one, I was lucky they did free shipping on. Like that, That's why I, I pretty much hopped on it with the quickness. Because normally, something like this is going to run between $50 and $125 just for shipping. Oh, and $50 is like very rarely. And if you're getting a turntable off of there, like you got to make sure that they take the platter off, strap down the tone arm, all that stuff. So it's, it's just a pain in the hiney. Tape decks, yeah, you, you might be okay as long as they like pack it really well and it doesn't get jostled around and busted. And I mean, like, the, you've seen UPS mail, any of those shipping guys, like they're not just like, oh, let's put this here because this is valuable stereo. Good? You, you okay? You all right? Okay. Now another one. No, they're just fucking tossing stuff. I don't care. So, if you do have to get it off of there, talk to the person that you're buying it from and 
ask them how they pack it, make sure they pack it properly, correctly. Um, so yeah, it's like I said, sit. I mean, I've got this off of eBay, but it's a little Walkman, so it's not getting thrown around. You, you know, you want to make sure stuff's packed where it can survive a 10 foot drop. And yeah, you can't test it out ahead of time to see if it works. You just have to rely on their, yeah, it's tested for this and sounds great. Oh, cool. Some guy that I don't know on the internet, hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of miles away, says that it sounds great. So I just got to take their word for it. Now, it's a lot better if you can test it in person. There is another place online where you can get stuff from called shopgoodwill.com. Again, you're, you're going to be very lucky if you get something that, for one thing, they don't really test anything on there. Uh, so it'll just say tested for power only. So if it's something that's, <coughs> excuse me, <sighs> thank you. Um, if it's something that's at like a low price, like for example, this cassette deck right there, this Techniques RS630, I uh, got it for like around 30 bucks, I believe, with $40 in shipping, and it was in pretty good shape, you know, I've had to do some work on it, and got to do some more work on it now because the pinch roller broke, but I mean, 30 bucks, yeah. Now, I was willing to take the risk on something like that because I've seen those on eBay for like two to three hundred dollars. Never seen them in person, so that kind of sucks. And I also got that clock radio up there, AM FM cassette clock radio. It was like around 20 bucks, but whenever it arrived the cassette player did not work the clock did not work the radio kind of sort of worked and it was really scratchy and crappy and then it would just not turn off sometimes and then other times it would not turn on so i let them know and they actually refunded me the cost uh so i ended up getting it for free so again these are like just kind of rare and lucky circumstances and our situations. And I would not recommend buying these things online unless it is for a pretty low price. And you, and you're just like, all right, well I've got 20, 40 bucks to spare. Yeah. What's that? A, a meal out somewhere and it could potentially end up being something cool. But if you're spending like hundreds of dollars on shit no, I really would not recommend it my preferred avenue is facebook marketplace but that depends on your area and here in new orleans there's not really a whole 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 lot of stuff because back in 2005 hurricane katrina came and washed a bunch of stuff away including my old stereo and record collection but there have been some things that have popped up on there. This receiver, for example, the STA90 from Realistic, and it is a freaking beast. I love it. 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 It sounds great. It looks super cool, and it sounds great. Got it for like 50 bucks, and the dude threw in a matching tape deck with it too so that was really really cool yeah this little guy i saw it on marketplace when i was in florida for 15 dollars and it's a great sounding tape deck this got at a well it, I, I did end up seeing it on marketplace as well but i got it when i was like out in the middle of nowhere at like this kind of thrifty junk shop on the side of the road and it was like 10 or 15 bucks so that was really cool yeah and then i saw it was on marketplace as well yeah facebook marketplace maybe craigslist is better in your area but either way it's like you can go you can test it 
people are kind of, you know, fairly regularly updating what's on there. Another place locally to kind of hit up. Hit up your thrift stores. Sometimes you'll find some cool things. I found this neat little 8-track player right there at a thrift store for $10. It's a very basic, no frills, like no, you know, you can change the, the programs on it. That's about it. But no fast forward, no eject, anything like that. But it gets the job done, and it's really cool. We got that at a thrift store. Um, there's another tape deck down there that uh no i'm lying it, there's one that i got for my daughter it's a yamaha and it's it's like a a black 90s tape deck but it does have like it's it's you know the body is mostly plastic but like the front is like steel or metal or whatever i got that at a thrift store i was able to test it out and again that's the great thing about these you can test them out if you're there in person uh, a lot of thrift stores are selling stuff online, like, you know, to their shopgoodwill.coms, which we mentioned earlier. But sometimes you'll come across some cool things in store. Uh, I saw another tape deck. It was a modular component system, but like a late 70s, early 80s, silver. Looked really cool. I think it was like 25 bucks. I didn't pick it up. I did go back like two days later when all their electronics were half price, but it was gone. But you know, whatevs. I'm trying to think of what else I've gotten at thrift stores around here. Not so much, but I have gotten some other cool things off of Facebook Marketplace. See these speakers right there? JBL bookshelf speakers, and they're like super heavy, and they're normally a couple of hundred bucks, and got it for like I don't know, 50, 75 bucks. And it had like a, I mean, I think it was like AV speakers, but they're still like really heavy. They sound great, but it even came with like the center channel one, which I have nothing I can really do with that because I don't have like an AV setup. I just have my regular TV that I watch, but I don't really watch a lot of TV. So, um, but if I ever find another center speaker like that, then I'll have two like three-way speakers and that'd be kind of whatever. Maybe sound good, maybe not. Don't know. And also another pair of bookshelf speakers, which I guess I'll show right here in a photograph since I don't have them in my room here. They're in my daughter's room. So, but here they are. Those were a pair of Advent Baby One bookshelf speakers. And they're about the same size as that, like about 17 by 12 inches. Pretty heavy, like beautiful wooden cabinets. And like, they're actually pretty rare too. Like you'll see a lot of Baby Twos, but not so many Baby Ones. And they were like 50 bucks. So, and other things that I've, I've seen on Marketplace but didn't get was one time they had this receiver and an Audio-Technica LP120 turntable, which is normally a couple hundred bucks too. And together, those were $75, which, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So, let's, uh, let's add up some of the least expensive things and see what that price would be. So, we had this receiver for $50. Uh, the Baby Advent speakers that I just showed you, which are also $50. Oh, and I've, there's a Realistic Lab 440 turntable that I've seen on Marketplace. It's about two hour drive away from me which that kind of sucks but it's a hundred bucks which is a good price for for that kind of turntable that's a good price for any turntable really these days uh but that's a really solid direct drive turntable so got receiver for 50 speakers for 50 turntable for 100 you've got a basic system right there for 200 dollars not too bad. And if you throw in this 
for what did I get it for? 10, 15 bucks? We'll say 15. For $215, you've got a vintage receiver, a vintage cassette and a track player, vintage turntable, and some awesome, pretty vintage. I think those speakers came out like in the 80s. Um, yeah, so for $215, you get a receiver, a turntable, cassette deck, a track player and speakers not a bad haul and even if you want to go less than that like say say your budget's a hundred dollars you got this receiver you got those speakers and you can plug your phone or any other device into this receiver if you have a little Y split cable thing let me see if I have one on hand that I can show you Oh, I got two of them. This one doesn't work, but I've had it for like 10 years. It's got something loose on the inside. But anyway, you just plug this into the speaker jack of your phone. And then these go into the aux jack in the back of the receiver. But my phone doesn't have a speaker jack anymore because it's a fancy, fancy new phone. Well, you know what? I got you covered too. I have an iPhone with a lightning port, then you just need this little dongle right there, this little thing that plugs into that. And then this plugs into that and you're good to go. But how much is all this stuff? Well, you can get one of these cables for about $10. You can get one of these for about $10. And if you order it online from Best Buy, you'll get four months of Apple Music. So you can stream whatever the heck you want lossless amazing audio for ten dollars and you got four months that you can listen to it and if you if you got the tape deck then you can record all sorts of stuff off of apple music onto cassette and then listen to it that way how do i know because that's what i did now you may be saying, but my local Facebook marketplace and Craigslist and thrift stores don't really have anything. Or you might also be saying, why are you wearing a completely different shirt now? What is it like two days later or something since the last thing that I was watching? No, of course not. But... As far as your first question that I just asked for you and presume that you are thinking, it depends on how often you check those places for marketplace here. Check it a couple of times a day because stuff just pops up randomly. Craigslist is pretty slow here, so not really so much. Thrift stores isn't really worth it to me because I mean, there's like about five or six here locally and driving around to them. There's only one really that sometimes has good stuff and it's like about a 20 minute drive away plus 20 minutes back plus, you know, your gas and your time that you're wasting. So that to me isn't really worth it, which sort of brings us to another place to shop locally. Garage sales. They have them every weekend. Sometimes other days too, but not really. But I mean, what are they? Pretty much always Saturdays, sometimes Sundays. And you can check those out. That also will involve a lot of driving around. So Kind of be prepared for that. But you might find other neat stuff too there. But more so than that, one place that I've found that is cool and not place but way to check and things to go to, estate sales. Remember, faithful watchers, but not those who are new here, which if you are, welcome aboard. But did an episode recently about 
this eight track player and recorder the mayfair 2084 i believe got that at an estate sale for like 20 bucks and they also had there these two recordable am i holding those upside down yeah just turn yourselves on your heads recordable eight track cassettes cartridges that i was able to use to make some awesome 1970s super mixes volume one and again two mm. my handy dandy other eight track recorder And at another estate sale I went to, they had the same brand, Mayfair, 8-track recorder, but it was a bigger one. Um, and I also got, can't really see it, but it's uh, this black Ankyo. It's like a 90s. It's also like um, the Yamaha one that I said earlier, that it's like the body is black plastic, but the faceplate metal or some sort of metallic material is it aluminum is it tin I don't know but it's cold and it's hard kind of like your mom doesn't even make sense I apologize it's late in the evening yeah and the really cool thing about estate sales is if you go to estatesales.net and you plug in your zip code it should bring up any estate sales in your area and a lot of them will have pictures of the house and a lot of the items in it so you can kind of click on a picture zoom in and if you see even if you can't see exactly what uh kind of stereo equipment they have if you see just some stereo equipment you know something that looks like this or that or whatever you see it's silver and black and you know then you can be like all right well then i can go there and it won't be a waste of me driving somewhere across town and them not having anything but make sure you get to the estate sales early. If it opens at, if it says it starts at nine, get there at seven, because usually people will be standing there waiting in line. Not always for stereo stuff, because I've gone and I've seen people go and they, usually records are what they're really after. Um, but they're great places to get records too. I've gotten some records there. Got an awesome John Williams Superman um uh, like superman one soundtrack um got some other stuff i don't know got a cool record crate and so on etc yeah estate sales are really really cool um I'm trying to think if there's anything else i've gotten from there no i don't think so so in summary for this probably 40 minute video now i really need to condense my apologies my number one suggestion facebook marketplace at least i'm going off of it in my area see what see what works best for you but facebook marketplace really good um craigslist can be good oh i, I did get a really cool turntable off of there but it ended up not working 100% so I got rid of it. Craigslist, yeah, good. Uh, estate sales, also really good. Garage sales, I personally haven't really hit a lot of them, but I, with, with the just massive amounts of those that they usually are, you're probably going to find some good stuff better than the next choice, thrift stores. A lot of thrift stores are switching to online, so 
finding something in your actual thrift store because and and some of them like are just putting stuff out all day long so you could go there and don't see anything then you leave and someone brings out a Marantz 2270 for only $25 and you missed it so but then you'll get to see someone else post about it and you can cry and then finally eBay slash shop goodwill dot com now I did actually see something on it wasn't shop goodwill but it was another goodwill website just like an hour ago um, a center speaker that I had and they had another one and I was like oh maybe these would be like a good pair of speakers to have but then when I listened to my center speaker at, and compared it to the matching bookshelf speaker it didn't really sound as good but I mean they had it on there for like 30 bucks and usually if I look at for the center speaker for this one's a JBL S center uh they're usually around like a hundred bucks so i was like oh 30 bucks that'd be great but then like i said whenever i compared it to the actual bookshelf speaker that sounded a lot more full a lot richer a lot warmer vibrant so pass on that but yeah it was it was a good thing and but all right well i hope this was helpful. I hope it was informative. I hope it wasn't too long and drawn out, but I know that it was. So if you're still here, you're probably used to that. Okay. Well, next time we'll talk about something else. Okay. Have a blessed day.